Top 20 Sex Addicts in Hollywood History Welcome to our journey through the darker corridors of fame. Today, we delve into the lives of Hollywood's most notorious personalities in our countdown of the top 20 sex addicts in Hollywood history. From scandalous affairs to public revelations, these are the stories of talent intertwined with an insatiable addiction that led to both downfall and, for some, a path to redemption. Now, let's get started. Jesse James Jesse James is a complex figure in the American media and entertainment industry. He is not only known as an automotive mechanic and television personality, but also for his personal scandals, particularly his marriage and contentious divorce with actress Sandra Bullock. Initially, Jesse James rose to fame as the founder of West Coast Choppers, a company that customized motorcycles for clients seeking unique bikes. His television career took off with appearances on shows like Discovery Channel's Monster Garage, where he and a team transformed ordinary vehicles into extraordinary machines with special features. However, his career and public image suffered greatly due to his marriage and subsequent divorce from beloved actress Sandra Bullock. The couple married in 2005, and their relationship appeared to be a Hollywood fairy tale until it imploded in 2010. As Bullock was receiving an Oscar for Best Actress, news of James's multiple affairs began to surface, shocking the public. The scandal shed light on James's personal struggles, including his admission to the Sierra Tucson treatment facility to address his sex addiction. Throughout this period, Jesse James publicly acknowledged his mistakes and personal issues, admitting that his actions had destroyed his marriage and caused significant harm to Bullock. Post-divorce Jesse James continued his business and media work, though his reputation and image never fully recovered. He remarried and has led a more private life, focusing on his career and personal interests. David Duchovny David Duchovny is an American actor best known for his roles in the iconic television series The X-Files and Californication. Beyond his professional achievements, Duchovny has also been open about his personal challenges, particularly his battle with sex addiction. David Duchovny's acting career began in the late 1980s, but he rose to significant fame in the 1990s as FBI agent Fox Mulder on The X-Files. The show was a massive success, blending science fiction, horror, and drama, and it earned Duchovny a Golden Globe Award for Best Actor. His portrayal of Mulder, a complex and often enigmatic character, made him a household name and solidified his career in television and film. In 2007, Duchovny took on a role that seemed to artfully imitate life, he starred as Hank Moody in Californication, a show about a talented but troubled writer struggling with addiction and personal demons, including sex addiction. The role earned him another Golden Globe and critical acclaim for his performance, which deftly balanced humor and drama. However, Duchovny's own life mirrored some aspects of his character's struggles when, in 2008, he voluntarily entered a rehabilitation facility for treatment of sex addiction. This revelation came at a time when he was married to actress Taya Leone, and it brought considerable media attention to his personal life. The honesty about his challenges was both a professional risk and a personal expose that shaped public perception of him. Duchovny and Leone had a tumultuous relationship with periods of separation and reconciliation. They initially married in 1997, separated in 2008 after Duchovny's admission to rehab, and eventually finalized their divorce in 2014. Throughout these challenges, Duchovny continued to work, demonstrating resilience and dedication to his craft. Aside from acting, David Duchovny is also a published author and musician, showcasing his versatility and creative talents across different mediums. His books and music often explore themes of love, loss, and redemption, reflecting his personal experiences and growth. Jada Pinkett Smith 
Jada Pinkett Smith is a multifaceted American actress, singer, producer, and talk show host. Well known for her roles in films like The Nutty Professor, The Matrix sequels, and Girls Trip. In addition to her successful acting career, she has gained recognition for her candid discussions about personal and societal issues on her popular Facebook watch talk show, Red Table Talk. Born in Baltimore, Maryland, Jada studied dance and acting at the Baltimore School for the Arts and later at the North Carolina School of the Arts. Her acting career began in the early 1990s with a role on the sitcom A Different World, a spin-off of The Cosby Show. She quickly transitioned to film, where her strong performances in a variety of genres earned her a place in Hollywood. Jada Pinkett Smith's personal life, particularly her marriage to actor Will Smith, has been a subject of public fascination. The couple married in 1997 and have two children, Jaden and Willow, who have both pursued careers in entertainment. The Smiths have been open about the ups and downs of their marriage, discussing their challenges and successes in various public forums, including on Red Table Talk. Red Table Talk, which Jada hosts alongside her daughter Willow and mother Adrienne Banfield Norris, has been a groundbreaking platform for discussing important personal and societal issues. The show has featured conversations about mental health, marriage, addiction, and many other topics, providing insights into her own life as well as broader cultural discussions. One of the more significant revelations on Red Table Talk was Jada's own admission of battling sex addiction at a younger age. She discussed how she managed her addiction through sheer willpower and the decision to go cold turkey. This candid disclosure highlighted her commitment to transparency and her willingness to use her experiences to help others navigate similar challenges. Aside from her work in entertainment, Jada has been involved in numerous philanthropic efforts, including advocacy for human trafficking survivors and youth empowerment. Her dedication to humanitarian causes is intertwined with her public persona, enhancing her influence beyond the entertainment industry. Michael Douglas Michael Douglas is an acclaimed American actor and producer known for his powerful screen presence and depth in both dramatic and comedic roles. His career spans several decades, during which he has received numerous awards, including two Academy Awards and five Golden Globes. Douglas's influence in the film industry is profound, both for his acting prowess and for his role in producing critically acclaimed films. Born into Hollywood royalty as the son of legendary actor Kirk Douglas, Michael Douglas carved out his own niche with a combination of charisma and serious acting chops. He initially gained fame on television with his role in the 1970s police series, The Streets of San Francisco. However, his transition to film would cement his status as a leading man in Hollywood. Douglas's breakthrough as a producer came with One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, 1975, which won five Academy Awards, including Best Picture. As an actor, Douglas starred in a series of successful films that defined the 1980s and 1990s. His performances in Wall Street as Gordon Gecko and in Fatal Attraction, opposite Glenn Close, are particularly iconic. In Wall Street, he delivered one of cinema's most memorable lines. Greed, for lack of a better word, is good, which won him an Oscar for Best Actor. These roles showcased his ability to portray complex characters and solidified his reputation as a versatile actor. Beyond his professional achievements, Douglas's personal life has been marked by its ups and downs and has often been the subject of media attention. He married actress Catherine Zeta-Jones in 2000, and despite their age difference, the couple has maintained a strong public profile and partnership. Douglas has been open about his struggles with health and addiction. In the late 1990s, he publicly acknowledged his issues with sex addiction and alcohol, which led to a stint in rehabilitation. These personal challenges were later compounded by a diagnosis of stage I-4 throat cancer in 2010. 
Douglas attributed the cause of his cancer to HPV, acquired through his lifestyle choices, a statement that sparked both controversy and discussion about the disease. Throughout his battle with cancer, Douglas remained resilient and eventually announced that the cancer was in remission. His experience led him to speak out about cancer awareness and prevention, contributing his voice to global health causes. In recent years, Michael Douglas has continued to act in a variety of film and television roles, including the Netflix series The Kominsky Method, for which he received critical acclaim and several award nominations. His enduring career and ability to navigate both personal and professional challenges demonstrate his resilience and lasting appeal as an actor and a public figure. Kanye West Kanye West is an American rapper, producer, fashion designer, and entrepreneur, known for his groundbreaking work in the music industry as well as his controversial and often polarizing public persona. His influence extends beyond music into fashion and politics, making him one of the most recognizable and discussed figures in contemporary culture. Born in Atlanta and raised in Chicago, Kanye Omari West began his career in the music industry as a producer for Rockefeller Records, where he gained recognition for his work on Jay-Z's album The Blueprint, as well as hits for other artists. His use of sped-up vocal samples from classic soul records was innovative at the time and became a hallmark of his production style. West's debut album, The College Dropout, 2004, was a commercial and critical success, challenging the gangsta rap dominance of the time with themes that addressed spirituality, family, and education. His subsequent albums, such as Late Registration, 2005, Graduation, 2007, and the starkly auto-tuned 808s and Heartbreak, 2008, further showcased his willingness to push musical boundaries and experiment with different styles. Kanye West is also known for his outspoken nature and media controversies, which have included interruptions at award shows, public statements on various social issues, and a brief and contentious foray into presidential politics in 2020. His comments and actions have sparked widespread debate and media coverage, adding to his complex public image. Beyond music, West has made significant forays into the fashion world, launching his own clothing lines and collaborating with major brands like Nike and Adidas. His Yeezy brand, in particular, has been highly successful, influencing streetwear globally and achieving billion-dollar valuation. Personal struggles have also marked his public life, including a highly publicized marriage and subsequent separation from reality TV star Kim Kardashian. West has spoken openly about his mental health issues, revealing that he has been diagnosed with bipolar disorder, which has influenced both his career and public perception. Nicole Narain Nicole Narain is an American model and actress best known for her work as a Playboy Playmate. She was the Playmate of the Month for January 2002, which launched her into the public eye and led to various opportunities in modeling and acting. Narain's career has been marked not only by her appearances in Playboy, but also by her involvement in several television shows and minor film roles. Born in Chicago, Illinois, Narain is of Afro-Guyanese descent. Her striking looks and charismatic presence quickly made her a sought-after model in the early 2000s. Beyond her modeling work, Nicole Narain has appeared in a number of music videos and has had guest roles on television shows, where she often played characters that leveraged her model persona. In addition to her professional work, Nicole Narain has been publicly open about her personal challenges, particularly with regard to sex addiction, which she has discussed in various media outlets. Her openness about this issue has been part of a broader dialogue about sex addiction, a topic that often remains under-discussed, especially among women. Narain's struggle with addiction came into the public spotlight, particularly through her participation in reality television. She was featured in the VH1 reality show Sex Rehab with Dr. Drew, 
where she, along with other celebrities, sought treatment for sex addiction. The show provided insights into her personal journey and struggles, offering a more nuanced picture of her beyond her public persona as a model and actress. Vivian Lee. Vivian Lee was a British actress renowned for her beauty, talent, and tragic personal life. Born Vivian Mary Hartley on November 5, 1913, in Darjeeling, India, she was destined to become one of the most celebrated figures in cinematic history, immortalized by her roles as Scarlett O'Hara in Gone with the Wind, 1939, and Blanche Dubois in A Streetcar Named Desire, 1951, both of which earned her Academy Awards. Lee's early life was marked by education in Europe, where she cultivated a love for the arts. She attended schools in England and France, developing fluency in multiple languages and a sophisticated persona that would later serve her well in her acting career. After studying at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art in London, Lee made her stage debut in the mid-1930s, and her beauty and talent quickly caught the attention of the British public and the film industry. Her breakthrough role came when she was cast as Scarlett O'Hara after an extensive and publicized search by producer David O. Selznick. Her performance in Gone with the Wind captivated audiences worldwide and established her as a major star. Despite the success, Lee's career was often overshadowed by her tumultuous personal life, including her marriage to actor Laurence Olivier. The couple was celebrated as theatrical royalty, but their relationship was fraught with challenges, including Lay's struggles with bipolar disorder and chronic tuberculosis. Lay's portrayal of Blanche Dubois in the film adaptation of Tennessee Williams' A Streetcar Named Desire is considered one of the finest performances in the history of cinema. It showcased her ability to convey depth and vulnerability, earning her a second Oscar. Despite her professional success, Lee's health issues increasingly affected her career and personal life. Her battle with mental health issues was not well understood at the time and often subjected her to stigma. Throughout her life, Lee remained dedicated to the theater, considering it her true artistic home. She performed in numerous plays in both London and New York, often alongside Olivier. Her stage work was marked by a range of classical and contemporary roles, displaying her versatility as an actress. Vivian Lee's life came to a premature end at the age of 53 in 1967, after battling tuberculosis for many years. Despite her relatively brief career, her legacy endures through her unforgettable performances and the dramatic intensity she brought to her roles. Lee remains an iconic figure in the world of cinema and theater, celebrated for her extraordinary talent and the passionate intensity of her performances. Lindsay Lohan Lindsay Lohan is an American actress, singer, and entrepreneur whose career has seen both significant highs and well-publicized lows. Born on July 2, 1986, in New York City, Lohan was propelled into the spotlight at a very young age, starting her career as a child model and actress. She quickly gained fame with her natural acting talent and charisma, eventually becoming a teen idol. Lohan's breakout role came in the 1998 Disney film The Parent Trap, where she played dual roles as twin sisters. Her performance was widely praised and set the stage for her subsequent success in early 2000s teen movies. Lohan became a household name with leading roles in successful films like Freaky Friday, 2003, Mean Girls, 2004, and Herbie, Fully Loaded, 2005. These films showcased her ability to handle both comedic and dramatic roles and cemented her status as a major star. Alongside her acting career, Lohan also pursued music, releasing albums such as Speak, 2004, and a little more personal, Raw, 2005. Her music career saw some success, with several of her songs charting on the Billboard Hot 100. However, Lohan's promising career was increasingly overshadowed by her personal struggles. 
Throughout the mid-2000s and early 2010s, she faced numerous legal issues, stints in rehabilitation centers and intense media scrutiny, all of which took a toll on her professional life and public image. Her difficulties were often linked to substance abuse and erratic behavior, leading to various arrests and court appearances that were heavily covered in the media. Despite these challenges, Lohan has made multiple attempts to revive her career. She has appeared in smaller film and television roles, including parts in Liz and Dick, 2012, where she portrayed Elizabeth Taylor, and the British sitcom Sick Note, 2018. In recent years, she has also ventured into business, opening a beach club in Greece and exploring fashion and lifestyle branding. In addition to her professional activities, Lohan has engaged in several philanthropic efforts, particularly those focusing on youth and rehabilitation programs. She has been open about her journey through addiction and recovery, using her experiences to advocate for awareness and support for others facing similar challenges. Amber Smith Amber Smith is an American actress, former model, and reality television personality. Widely recognized for her appearances in high-profile fashion magazines in the 1990s and her roles in various films and TV shows. Born on March 2, 1971, in Tampa, Florida, Smith began her modeling career at a young age, quickly gaining attention for her striking resemblance to the iconic movie star Rita Hayworth. Smith's modeling career took off internationally when she moved to Europe, where she worked for major fashion brands and appeared on the covers of magazines such as Vogue and Elle. Her success in modeling led to opportunities in the entertainment industry, particularly in Hollywood. Smith transitioned to acting in the mid-1990s, appearing in films such as Faithful, 1996, with Cher and Ryan O'Neill, and The Mirror Has Two Faces, 1996, directed by Barbara Streisand. Amber Smith's filmography grew throughout the late 1990s and early 2000s with roles in various genres, including action and thriller movies like L.A. Confidential, 1997, and American Beauty, 1999. Despite not always being in leading roles, her performances were noted for their charisma and depth. Alongside film, she also appeared in television roles, including a memorable guest appearance on the popular TV show Friends. Despite her successful modeling and acting career, Smith also faced personal challenges, particularly with addiction. Her struggles with substance abuse were publicly revealed when she became a cast member on the VH1 reality show Celebrity Rehab with Dr. Drew in 2008. On the show, Smith was open about her battles with addiction to prescription pain medication and alcohol, providing an intimate look at her efforts to recover. She also appeared on subsequent shows like Sober House and Sex Rehab with Dr. Drew, where she continued to share her journey towards recovery and sobriety. In these shows, Amber Smith was candid about the impact of addiction on her personal and professional life, shedding light on the pressures and challenges faced by models and actresses within the entertainment industry. Her participation in reality TV not only helped her personally, but also raised public awareness about the issues of addiction and recovery. Eric Benet Eric Benet is an American R&B and neo-soul singer-songwriter, known for his smooth vocals and heartfelt lyrics. Born Eric Benet Jordan on October 15, 1966, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, he grew to prominence in the late 1990s and early 2000s with a style that blends influences from gospel, classical R&B, and contemporary soul music. Benet's musical career began in the late 1980s with a band called Benet, which he formed with his sister Lisa and cousin George Nash Jr. Though the band did not achieve widespread success, it laid the groundwork for his solo career. His solo debut album, True to Myself, 1996, displayed his knack for crafting emotional, relatable songs, but it was his second album, A Day in the Life, 1999 that truly put him on the map. The album featured Spend My Life With You, a duet with Tamiya, which became a massive hit 
and earned a Grammy nomination for Best R&B Performance by a Duo or Group. Binet continued to release music throughout the 2000s, with albums like Hurricane, 2005, and Love and Life in 2008, which included hits like You're the Only One and further established his reputation for creating deeply personal and evocative music. His smooth voice and romantic ballads have made him a favorite among R&B enthusiasts. Aside from his musical career, Eric Benet's personal life has garnered significant media attention, particularly his marriage to and subsequent divorce from actress Halle Berry. The couple married in 2001 but divorced in 2005 amid much public scrutiny, partly due to Benet's admitted infidelity and treatment for sex addiction. This period of his life was highly publicized and affected his career and personal reputation. After his divorce, Benet sought therapy and made a concerted effort to rebuild his personal life and career. He married Manuela Testolini in 2011, with whom he has two children. His later albums like Lost in Time 2010 and The One 2012 reflect a maturity and depth shaped by his life experiences, showcasing his growth as an artist and individual. Eric Benet has also ventured into acting, with roles in television and films that include For Your Love and Trinity Goodheart. His continued commitment to music and his ability to evolve artistically have kept him relevant in the ever-changing music industry. Rob Lowe Rob Lowe is an American actor whose career spans over four decades. Marked by his roles in television and film that have made him a well-recognized figure in Hollywood. Born on March 17, 1964, in Charlottesville, Virginia, Lowe rose to fame as a teen idol and a member of the Brat Pack in the 1980s, with roles in films like The Outsiders, St. Elmo's Fire, and About Last Night. Lowe's early career was characterized by his matinee idol looks and charismatic performances, which quickly made him a household name. However, his career faced significant challenges in the late 1980s due to a scandal involving a leaked sex tape, which was one of the first major celebrity sex tape scandals. This incident occurred during the 1988 Democratic National Convention and involved a minor which led to legal battles and public backlash. As a result, Lowe's image was tarnished and his career took a downturn. Despite these early setbacks, Rob Lowe managed to reinvent himself both personally and professionally. He returned to prominence with a role on the television series The West Wing, where he played Sam Seaborn, a deputy communications director in the White House, his performance on the show was critically acclaimed and helped to revitalize his career, showcasing his ability to handle more mature and complex roles. Lowe received several award nominations for his work on the series. Following The West Wing, Lowe continued to find success on television with roles in shows like Parks and Recreation, where he played the overly optimistic government worker Chris Traeger and Brothers and Sisters. His ability to switch between drama and comedy, often with charm and ease, broadened his appeal and demonstrated his versatility as an actor. In addition to his television work, Lowe has appeared in various films, continued to take on new TV roles, including starring in the comedy series The Grinder and the drama series Code Black. He also starred in the British television drama Wild Bill where he played a high-flying U.S. cop who becomes the chief constable of the East Lincolnshire Police Force in the U.K. Beyond acting, Rob Lowe has written two memoirs, Stories I Only Tell My Friends and Love Life, where he shares insights into his personal life, career experiences, and the lessons he's learned. In his books and interviews, Lowe discusses his struggles with alcoholism and how becoming sober in his 20s was a turning point in his life and career. Russell Brand Russell Brand is an English comedian, actor, author, and activist known for his flamboyant and controversial persona. Born on June 4, 1975, in Grays, Essex, England, Brand's career has been marked by both significant public attention and personal turmoil. 
which he has openly discussed in his comedic work and numerous publications. Brand began his career in stand-up comedy in the late 1990s and quickly moved into television, hosting a variety of shows on MTV and later on Channel 4. His quick wit, eccentric style, and controversial antics rapidly gained him notoriety and a dedicated following. He achieved major recognition as the host of Big Brother's Big Mouth, a spin-off of the reality show Big Brother, where his unfiltered and provocative style made him a standout figure in British entertainment. In 2008, Russell Brand made a successful transition to Hollywood, starring in the comedy film Forgetting Sarah Marshall, which was well-received by audiences and critics alike. His portrayal of the eccentric rock star Aldous Snow earned him a spin-off film, Get Him to the Greek, in 2010. Brand's unique comedic delivery and on-screen charisma helped cement his status as a Hollywood actor. Despite his professional successes, Brand has been open about his struggles with addiction and mental health. He has faced numerous challenges, including substance abuse and legal issues, which have been widely covered in the media. Brand's personal experiences with addiction and recovery have significantly influenced his public advocacy and his writing. He has authored several books, including My Bookie Wook, Revolution and Recovery, Freedom from Our Addictions, where he discusses his journey towards sobriety and his critique of contemporary society's handling of addiction and mental health. Beyond entertainment, Russell Brand has become increasingly involved in political activism and social issues. He has been vocal about various causes, including economic inequality, corporate power, and environmental issues. His YouTube channel and podcast, Under the Skin, explore deeper philosophical, spiritual, and political ideas, featuring discussions with a variety of guests from different fields. Russell Brand's approach to activism is characterized by his blend of humor and earnestness, making complex issues accessible and engaging to his audience. He encourages political and spiritual awareness, often drawing from his own experiences to advocate for change and growth. Colin Farrell Colin Farrell, a name synonymous with charismatic performances and magnetic screen presence, has navigated a complex path through the heights of Hollywood fame. Born in Dublin, Ireland in 1976, Farrell entered the acting world with a compelling blend of raw talent and rugged charm. His breakthrough role in Tigerland, 2000, marked the start of what would become a prominent career in films ranging from action-packed thrillers to introspective dramas. Farrell's early exposure to the glamorous yet relentless Hollywood lifestyle led to a tumultuous relationship with fame. As his star rose with subsequent successes in Minority Report, 2002, and Phone Booth, 2002, so did his encounters with the darker sides of celebrity culture. It was during these formative years in the early 2000s that Farrell's personal life began to unravel publicly. His sex addiction became fodder for the tabloids, culminating in incidents and revelations that threatened to overshadow his professional endeavors. The public's fascination with his personal crises reached a peak when a sex tape involving Farrell leaked in 2005. This incident not only invaded his privacy, but also sparked a slew of media scrutiny that focused more on his personal missteps than his artistic contributions. The scandal was accompanied by several public admissions of his struggles with addiction, which he addressed with a mix of candor and remorse. Farrell's openness about his sex addiction was a double-edged sword. It humanized him to those who also struggled with similar issues, but also made him a target for tabloid exploitation. His decision to enter rehab was pivotal, not only for his health, but also for reshaping his career trajectory. Post-rehab, Farrell's choices in roles demonstrated a marked shift towards more complex characters and narratives that diverged from the typical leading man roles that had initially defined his career. Films like In Bruges, 2008, and The Lobster, 2015, showcased a more subdued and nuanced approach to his craft, earning him critical acclaim and a Golden Globe Award for the former. 
Farrell's journey through addiction and recovery also ignited a deeper involvement in advocacy and public discussion about the challenges of addiction. By sharing his experiences, he contributed to a broader dialogue about mental health and recovery, particularly in the high-pressure environment of Hollywood. His advocacy extended beyond just interviews and public speeches. Farrell became involved in charity work that focused on health and wellness, using his platform to support others facing similar battles. Professionally, Farrell's resurgence reflected a renewed focus and maturity. His performances in The Killing of a Sacred Deer, 2017, and Widows, 2018, were emblematic of an actor who had not only rebounded from personal turmoil but had also found a way to channel his past into compelling artistry. His work in these films was characterized by an intensity and depth that spoke to his personal evolution. Harvey Weinstein Harvey Weinstein was once one of the most powerful figures in the Hollywood film industry, known for co-founding Miramax Films and later The Weinstein Company, which produced and distributed some of the most critically acclaimed films of the late 20th and early 21st centuries. Born on March 19, 1952, in Flushing, Queens, Weinstein's impact on the film industry was profound, as he produced numerous award-winning films such as Shakespeare in Love, Pulp Fiction, and The King's Speech. Despite his professional successes, Weinstein's career and reputation were irreversibly tarnished by numerous allegations of sexual harassment, assault, and rape that emerged in 2017. These allegations sparked the Me Too movement, a significant cultural shift that called attention to sexual misconduct in various industries. The accusations against Weinstein, brought forth by numerous actresses and female employees, painted a picture of a man who abused his power to exploit, intimidate, and harm women over decades. In the wake of these allegations, the Weinstein Company dismissed him, and he was ostracized by the industry. His case was a watershed moment for Hollywood, prompting a re-evaluation of gender dynamics within the industry and inspiring similar disclosures in other sectors. Harvey's fall from grace was rapid. From awards and accolades to becoming a pariah facing legal battles, his legacy in cinema is now overshadowed by his criminal actions. In 2020, Weinstein was convicted of rape and a criminal sexual act in New York and sentenced to 23 years in prison, a landmark sentence that many of his accusers and advocates saw as a moment of justice and a significant precedent for future cases of sexual misconduct. Additionally, Weinstein faces further charges in other jurisdictions, continuing his legal battles and further cementing his legacy as a central figure in one of Hollywood's most significant scandals. Kevin Spacey Kevin Spacey is an American actor and producer whose career achievements have been significantly overshadowed by allegations of sexual misconduct. Born on July 26, 1959 in South Orange, New Jersey, Spacey became one of the most acclaimed actors of his generation with his versatile performances in film, television, and theater. He has received numerous accolades, including two Academy Awards for his roles in The Usual Suspects, 1995, and American Beauty, 1999. Highlighting his ability to portray complex characters, Spacey's theatrical talents were also well recognized. He served as the artistic director of the Old Vic Theatre in London from 2004 to 2015, where he starred in and directed several productions. However, his accomplished career took a drastic turn in 2017, when allegations of sexual harassment and assault surfaced. Multiple accusers, including actors from the Old Vic Theatre and others who worked with him during his film career, came forward with claims of inappropriate behavior. These allegations spanned decades, suggesting a pattern of abuse that had been largely kept out of the public eye. The fallout from these allegations was swift and severe. 
Spacey was dropped from various projects, most notably from the Netflix series House of Cards, where he had starred as Frank Underwood, a role that had revived his career in television and earned him critical acclaim. Furthermore, his role in the completed film All the Money in the World was recast, and his scenes were reshot with actor Christopher Plummer replacing him. Spacey's response to the allegations has been mixed, with initial apologies followed by denials and disputes over the facts of the cases. His attempt to return to the public eye has met with significant resistance, reflecting the industry's and public's decreasing tolerance for sexual misconduct in the wake of the Me Too movement. Legal proceedings against him have included charges in the U.S. and the U.K., though some of these have been dismissed or dropped due to various legal complexities. Despite his previous contributions to the arts, Spacey's legacy is now indelibly marred by these allegations, marking a dramatic fall from grace and underscoring the industry's ongoing struggle with issues of sexual harassment and abuse. Tiger Woods Tiger Woods, born Eldrick Taunt Woods on December 30, 1975, in Cypress, California, is one of the most successful and famous golfers in the history of the sport. Known for his phenomenal talent and competitive spirit, Woods transformed golf through his performances, bringing unprecedented attention and diversity to a predominantly white sport. Woods's early career was marked by a string of unparalleled successes. He turned professional in 1996 and quickly became a dominant force in golf, accumulating 14 major golf championships from 1997 to 2008. His achievements during this period include winning the Masters Tournament four times, the U.S. Open three times, the PGA Championship four times, and the British Open three times. Woods' ability to perform under pressure, combined with his powerful drives and precision putting, earned him numerous accolades and a massive global fan base. However, Woods' illustrious career faced significant setbacks starting in 2009 when a series of personal scandals and injuries began to tarnish his image and impact his performance. It started with a car accident outside his Florida home, which quickly spiraled into a full-blown sex scandal. Numerous allegations of infidelity surfaced, leading to a public apology from Woods, who admitted to multiple extramarital affairs. The fallout from the scandal was severe, Woods lost several lucrative endorsement deals and took an indefinite break from professional golf to address his personal issues. The next several years were challenging for Woods, who struggled with both form and fitness. He underwent multiple surgeries on his back and knee, which kept him out of competition for significant periods. These physical struggles, coupled with the ongoing public scrutiny, seemed to signal a possible end to his golfing career. Despite these challenges, Woods' story took a turn for the redemptive in 2019 when he won the Masters, his first major championship in 11 years. This victory was widely regarded as one of the greatest comebacks in sports history, highlighting not only Woods' enduring skill and resilience, but also his capacity to overcome personal and professional adversities. Off the course, Tiger Woods has significantly impacted the sport through his foundation, the TGR Foundation, which focuses on providing STEM education programs to underserved youth. His efforts to grow the game among minorities and his philanthropic endeavors have established his legacy as more than just a golfer. Chuck Negron Chuck Negron, born on June 8, 1942, in the Bronx, New York, is an American singer best known as one of the lead vocalists of the band Three Dog Night. The band, formed in the late 1960s, achieved significant success in the 1970s with hits that have become timeless classics, such as Joy to the World, One, and Mama Told Me Not to Come. Negron's powerful voice and dynamic stage presence were pivotal to the band's popularity and distinctive sound. Three Dog Night's success was meteoric during the peak years of their career, with the band producing a string of top 20 hits and selling millions of records. Chuck Negron, along with fellow band members, Corey Wells and Danny Hutton, 
created a musical synergy that captured the essence of an era defined by its eclectic and evolving music scene. However, behind the scenes, Negron's life was taking a tumultuous turn. Negron's personal life was marked by severe struggles with drug addiction, which began to take a toll during his time with Three Dog Night. His addiction escalated to the point where it significantly impacted his professional and personal life. The height of his addiction in the 1970s and 1980s was characterized by numerous stints in rehabilitation centers and a notable decline in his musical career. His struggles with drugs led to financial difficulties and personal setbacks, including estrangement from his family and the loss of his ability to perform. Despite these challenges, Chuck Negron's story is also one of resilience and recovery. In the early 1990s, he successfully overcame his addiction and began to rebuild his life and career. He embarked on a solo career, releasing albums that highlighted his enduring talent as a vocalist. Negron also authored a book, Three Dog Nightmare, which candidly recounts his rise to fame with Three Dog Night, his battles with addiction, and his path to recovery. The book serves as an insightful and cautionary tale that reveals the darker side of rock stardom and the personal costs of addiction. Negron's commitment to helping others struggling with addiction has become a significant part of his life. He speaks openly about his experiences at various events and through media appearances, aiming to inspire others with his story of redemption. He has also been involved in numerous charity works and initiatives related to drug rehabilitation and support. Charlie Sheen Charlie Sheen, born Carlos Erwin Estevez on September 3, 1965, in New York City, is an American actor who became famous for his roles in both film and television, particularly during the late 1980s and throughout the 1990s and 2000s. His early career featured standout performances in films such as Platoon, 1986, Wall Street, 1987, and the comedy Major League, 1989. Sheen's charismatic on-screen presence and natural acting ability quickly made him a popular figure in Hollywood. Sheen transitioned to television successfully, starring in the sitcom Spin City and later in Two and a Half Men, which became a massive hit and solidified his status as a television star. His role as Charlie Harper in Two and a Half Men was particularly well-received, earning him several award nominations and making him one of the highest-paid actors on television. However, Sheen's successful career was marred by a very public and tumultuous personal life. Known for his wild lifestyle and substance abuse, his behavior frequently made headlines. His struggles with alcohol and drugs were compounded by legal issues and marital problems, leading to numerous stints in rehab and affecting his professional relationships and public image. The situation escalated in 2011 when Sheen was publicly fired from Two and a Half Men following a highly publicized meltdown that included erratic interviews where he made bizarre statements and criticized the show's creator. This period also marked his infamous claim of having tiger blood and being a warlock, phrases that became part of pop culture. Following his departure from the show, Sheen starred in Anger Management, which ran for a hundred episodes but did not replicate his previous success. In addition to his acting career and public persona, Sheen's life took a significant turn in 2015 when he publicly disclosed that he was HIV positive having been diagnosed four years earlier. This disclosure brought attention to his health battles and led to public discussions about HIV and AIDS. Sheen claimed that his diagnosis was a wake-up call and led to changes in his lifestyle and efforts to manage his health seriously. Despite his professional achievements, Charlie Sheen's legacy is complex, combining notable contributions to film and television with a public life filled with personal challenges. His story is one of extreme highs and lows, reflective of the volatile nature of celebrity culture and the personal vulnerabilities that often accompany fame. Warren Beatty Warren Beatty, 
Born Henry Warren Beatty on March 30, 1937 in Richmond, Virginia, is an iconic American actor and filmmaker known for his influential role in Hollywood as both a leading man and a creative force behind the camera. Beatty's career spans several decades, beginning in the 1950s and marked by a series of critically acclaimed films that he starred in, directed, or produced. Beatty first gained public attention with his role in Splendor in the Grass, 1961, which established him as a major Hollywood talent and a symbol of youthful restlessness. His career trajectory soared with notable performances in films such as Bonnie and Clyde, 1967, which he also produced, significantly impacting the new Hollywood wave of filmmaking that challenged traditional Hollywood norms. This film not only solidified his status as a superstar, but also showcased his knack for blending commercial appeal with artistic ambition. Throughout the 1970s and 1980s, Beatty's reputation as a formidable filmmaker grew with projects like Shampoo, 1975, Heaven Can Wait, 1978, and particularly Reds, 1981, an epic historical drama about the life of journalist John Reed. Reds earned him an Academy Award for Best Director, making him one of the few individuals to be nominated for acting, directing, writing, and producing in the same film, a testament to his multifaceted talent. Warren Beatty's personal life, especially his relationships, has often been as much in the spotlight as his professional achievements. Known for his romantic liaisons with many famous actresses, his image as a playboy was prominent in media portrayals. However, he settled down later in life, marrying actress Annette Bening in 1992, with whom he has four children. His marriage to Benning marked a turning point as he became more private and selective in his film projects. Despite fewer appearances in front of the camera in later years, Beatty returned to filmmaking with projects like Bullworth, 1998, and Rules Don't Apply, 2016, though they did not achieve the same level of critical or commercial success as his earlier works. These films, however, continued to reflect his willingness to take creative risks and address social and political themes. Beatty's contributions to cinema extend beyond his roles and films. He has been an influential figure in Hollywood, known for pushing the boundaries of film production and narrative and advocating for greater creative control for filmmakers. His legacy is also marked by his political activism. He has been involved in various political causes and has used his platform to support Democratic candidates and progressive issues. Wilt Chamberlain Wilt Chamberlain, born on August 21, 1936, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, was one of the most dominant and influential basketball players in the history of the sport. Known for his towering height of 7 feet 1 inch and his athletic prowess, Chamberlain left an indelible mark on the NBA and is often mentioned among the greatest players ever to play the game. Chamberlain's basketball career began at the University of Kansas, where he played for the Jayhawks and quickly gained national attention for his exceptional skill and size. He then moved to the Harlem Globetrotters before joining the NBA, where he would set numerous records and redefine the center position. His NBA career, notably with the Philadelphia San Francisco Warriors, the Philadelphia 76ers, and the Los Angeles Lakers, was characterized by astonishing statistical achievements. Chamberlain's most famous record, scoring 100 points in a single game against the New York Knicks on March 2, 1962, remains unbroken and is considered one of the greatest feats in the history of sports. Additionally, he averaged more than 30 points per game over the course of his career, including several seasons averaging over 40 and 50 points per game, showcasing his scoring ability. Chamberlain was not just a prolific scorer, he was also a tremendous rebounder, leading the league in rebounds for 11 seasons and achieving an average of 22.9 rebounds per game over his career. Despite his individual accolades, Chamberlain's career was also marked by intense rivalries, most notably with Bill Russell of the Boston Celtics. 
Their matchups were classic duels that defined the NBA during the 1960s. While Russell's Celtics teams often bested Chamberlain's teams in the playoffs, Chamberlain finally achieved significant championship success later in his career, winning two NBA championships, one with the Philadelphia 76ers in 1967 and another with the Los Angeles Lakers in 1972. Off the court, Chamberlain was known for his colorful and controversial personal life. He famously claimed in his autobiography to have had sexual relations with 20,000 women, a statement that sparked debate and criticism. This claim, whether exaggerated or not, contributed to his larger-than-life persona, but also drew criticism and scrutiny. After retiring from basketball in 1973, Chamberlain's influence extended beyond the court. He was involved in several ventures, including a brief coaching stint, appearances in films and television, and various entrepreneurial endeavors. He also wrote several books and was an outspoken commentator on issues in professional sports. Wilt Chamberlain passed away on October 12, 1999, but his legacy lives on. He is remembered not only for his statistical records and athletic dominance, but also for changing the way basketball was played and perceived. His impact on the game's strategies, such as prompting changes to rules regarding fouling and offensive lane dimensions, cemented his status as a revolutionary figure in sports. Chamberlain's induction into the Basketball Hall of Fame in 1978 was a fitting tribute to his monumental contributions to the game of basketball. Thank you for watching the entire video on the Famous People channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more in-depth content. We appreciate your engagement and look forward to sharing more intriguing stories with you in our upcoming videos. Goodbye.